It's just something I've never done before. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica and of course this is my channel. Guys, today I have a full mug. Oh, it's so hot of ginger hibiscus tea maybe no ginger turmeric doesn't matter i have tea because i have a lot to share with you guys oh my gosh um as you can see in the title down below it is a chit chat get ready with me these are kind of like one of my favorite type of videos to do just because like it's so chill you know it's so chill that i get to do my makeup talk to you guys and post a video so it's amazing okay um, I don't know if this is the right shirt to wear because makeup, but like, it's fine. It's okay. Today's a really busy day. Um, okay, what? <laughs> Today is a really busy day. I just got back from Italy yesterday. I don't know how, I just, I woke up kind of early. 7 o'clock, went to the gym, went to the, I was going to say market. Went to the supermarket, did my grocery shopping. We're just going to get started because I honestly only have a couple of hours and I have a lot to do today. So yeah, I just got back from Italy yesterday. Fun times. I don't have primer on again. So it is my last month in Canada. Just poke my eye out. Uh, before I moved to Italy and I'm feeling kind of like... 10 different feelings, you know? Scared, nervous, excited, happy. Definitely not mad. A little bit sad. <laughs> but good overall. Um, there's so much I have to do. So literally these next, I guess, like four weeks. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> these next four weeks, I just have to like get my shit together because what? I don't know, I always do this for like big things in my life. I'm like, oh, whatever, it's nothing. And then time comes, I'm like, oh my God, like I need to get my ass in order. There's apparently this big snowstorm happening tomorrow, like the snowstorm of the year, and everyone's like freaking out. But like, I honestly didn't think it would be that bad. But my friend's like, yeah, they, like they, who's they? The weather people are saying to like stock up on food, like your lights might go off. I'm like, okay, what is going on? Went to the market today, never been more busy in my life. And I know it's not just like a Christmas thing, it is literally because of the storm, everyone's stocking up on food. Like, okay, I don't know, I'm just like, whatever. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, it's not that bad, honestly. Okay, is my hair gonna cooperate or what? Just wiping this off my hand. So the original plan was for me to come, go to Italy middle of January, come back the end of January, and then uh, kind of wait 10 days for my boyfriend to come here to like, meet my family and stuff and friends. And then we'll just go back together. But his cousin actually recommended like, why doesn't he just come back with me at the end of January? And then we stay here for 10 days and then go back for good together. That just makes more sense because the other plan, like, I don't know why I was thinking of that. Too much back and forth. So that's what's happening. As you guys know, we did the interview two weeks ago and it went very well. Like, I am very proud of us. Can I just say a little side note right now? Like, do you guys see this? My boyfriend did this. I'm like, how do you know how to braid? Like, it's actually good. I'm low-key, like, concerned. <laughs> like, why are you actually good at braiding hair? I realized yesterday that I've been listening to a lot of podcasts that are, like, talking about moving in with your partner, living with a partner, and I think I'm a little bit more anxious than, uh, than I seem. Or, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, it's just something I've never done before. Like, I know some of my friends who have lived with their partner forever. It's just a normal thing. But as I said in that other video, like, I, I don't know how to live with other people. <laughs> but honestly, though, I think I'm just, like, hyping myself. Not hyping myself. Yeah, maybe. Hyping myself up a little bit too much. Because truthfully, like, every time I go there and we're together, it's fine. Like, everything's fine. So why am I so, you know thing is which was actually brought up on the interview as well I think in the final cut it was brought up um because we definitely talked about it but like going to see your partner who lives wherever like long distance 
and actually living with them is two completely different things or can be two completely different things especially when like every time i go there i always feel like i'm on a holiday you know like i'm just haha living in not even living visiting italy blah, blah, blah. it's all fun and all fun and games but the next time i go it's like a real thing you know it's like no more holiday maybe it actually might feel like a holiday until the february till we come back together for good for good but like still it's all becoming very real now very surreal very real and even the host was like what did he say he said it obviously in the nicest way ever but like do we think about how different it's gonna be and honestly truthfully though i think it's gonna be fine it's just like something i've never done before living with another human being besides my family so i'm just like Ugh. but it'll be fine I made a video right before I put on my makeup and I did like a little side to side like thing because I've been saying this for the past two videos but I swear I'm filming it after this video my one year post-op rhino update Jesus it's just been a lot going on this month I'm sorry guys but we're here we're back on track literally on the plane yesterday I was like okay we need to figure out this the rest of the week it needs to be very productive because as I said when I go away it's very it's giving very vacation vibes you know and I'm I'm more productive vibes so I need to find a balance in that can I just say I got the nicest and cutest bag for my future mother-in-law like oh my god I love I love I love I love guys I'm really on the fence of like should I not even should I like is it let me re let me think about this before I say it. I think I thought it through now. I'm basically trying to say like I don't know if I should just keep the relationship as it is, like me just talking about him. It's not that I'm necessarily trying to like hide him because honestly, like if you want to find him, you can find him. Like I'm not like oh my god, secret hide whatever. Especially now that we're going to live together, like what am I going to do? Just talk about the love of my life and not show him you know i'm working on being more open <laughs> because like um i have like six scorpio placements in my full chart so i'm like a true real like i'm a scorpio scorpio not just like hee hee scorpio traits i am like a full on scorpio so if you don't believe in astrology and stuff sorry it's just just my belief but uh <laughs> But yeah, I am working on being more open because I know Scorpios can be so closed off. And it's like, I think I'm getting a little bit better. I didn't wear a full face of makeup once on this past trip because I didn't have my um, makeup cleansing balm. For I used one specific one because like guys, you already know my skin is so sensitive. Like if I use one thing that's wrong, I will break out for eight months because that's what happened last time and I'm still kind of dealing with it. So yeah, I was like, I'm definitely not wearing a full face of makeup. If I can't find the specific makeup remover balm or whatever, this one right here. And yeah, so we went to Sephora. Why do they not sell the, the whole brand pharmacy in, I don't know if it's Europe, if it was that location, if it's Italy, like I don't know what it is, but yeah, I couldn't find it. They had like Drunk Elephant and another one, Clinique maybe. I was like, yeah, no, because I just, uh, I'm scared to use new things. So yeah, that was that. And this is my first time wearing a full face of makeup for a while now. Um, but I do need to go to my Sephora here and get that and my makeup setting spray. Just the regular stuff, you know, just the go-tos. I'm basically going to finish filming this video and then I'm going to charge my camera battery for a little bit. I don't know why I only have one. Like I've only had one for almost two years now for the whole time I've had my camera <laughs> I feel like I should invest in another battery because I only just depend on this one but yeah I'm gonna charge my battery for a bit while it's charging I'm going to make some TikToks and I just realized I should charge my phone <sighs> 26 percent uh, yeah 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 give me a reason who sang that song? Tell me why. Can you guys also tell me if you're sick and tired of me doing the same makeup look every video? Please help me, because if you are, I have I, I will switch it up. <laughs> 
But if you don't care and you're not really like watching, it's just like in the background or you're just like here to listen to what I'm saying, then tell me as well because sometimes I'm just like, you. I hope you're not here for the makeup because I, I am a beginner. I'm here for the talking. <laughs> Not really for the look, you know, I never See myself Going under the beauty influencer or beauty The beauty people <laughs> I don't even know what to call them Also, like do I need Botox again? I do like what is going on? Probably within the next two weeks I have to message my girl because Like why? Like why? I'm so scared to do like my regular, not my regular stuff, but like my, yeah, my regular maintenance stuff like in another country. Like my nails, I have my one girl here, shout out to BB, she does my toes and my feet and like I love her so much, I'm gonna miss her. Let's pause on that because I'm getting a call from our favorite. Say hi to the people. Oh, hi. <laughs> They can't see you, but they can hear you. Um, so yeah, as for my nails, like, I'm not really scared for nails, because it's really hard to mess up nails, I feel like. I don't know, I'm also very not too picky, just like, make them look good. <laughs> not amazing, not 100%, not perfect, but like, really good, you know? That's fine. It's more of like, my facial stuff, you know, like, Am I gonna find someone who does a Zena algae peel in Italy? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> like, I know there's so many different type of chemical peels and stuff, but like, I want that peel. So we'll see. Um, my hair. My hair. My hair. <laughs> I honestly think I'll be okay. There is apparently an area close to where we're gonna live that they do hair black people's hair so that should be okay but besides that I think everything will be fine let me take a sip of this mm. is it ginger lemon I don't even know what flavor this is I just bought that tea today because I'm like I don't want to be drinking coffee every day like I pretty much do when I'm away like I stopped <laughs> met this man and now I, every time we're together I'm like one coffee a day it's just too much so yeah I'll just stick to tea while I'm here maybe I'll have like one coffee within the month that I'm here one or two <laughs> but that's it like whatever and honestly I don't really need it like yes it gives me a little boost but I quit co when I st got Sorry, what, Jessica? When I stopped drinking coffee, I did it overnight. I do everything overnight, like cold turkey, I have to. There is no weaning off for me. I'm like, okay, we're done, we're done, that's it. <laughs> I just looked at myself in my mirror, and I'm just like, I forgot I was telling uh, my boyfriend that I look so Italian. Not like, okay, refresh. I don't look so Italian. I feel like I dress like, like I live in Italy. You know, it's really odd. I can't explain it, but never mind. I may cut this part out. <coughs> okay, obviously you can get eyeliner anywhere in the world, but like, I don't think they sell this brand there. But also, why am I acting like I'm going to a third world country? I'm not, like, I'll be fine. All the super important things I really don't think I'll actually find, I will just bring, you know, because we're gonna come back again in the summer for a couple weeks. And then I do a little re-up in Canada. I wanna learn how to do, I have to watch the videos, I think. Like the eyeliner, but just on the corner. The wing is what I'm talking about. Sometimes when I just start off with the wing and I do that, I'm like, oh, I kind of like it. But I just don't know how to like stop it, you know? I can do the wing, but like, how do I, where do I stop it in my eyelid, on my eyelid? Honestly, we're going to continue on because I'm saying too many words <laughs> without really saying anything at all. And we need to stop that. How does that look? Like it does, usually. <laughs> The way my hands are placed when I'm doing eyeliner, it's just like, what is going on? I've already put you guys on to this infamous eyelash serum. I literally, I feel like a friend asked me, like, at least once a week. It's like, what was the serum you're talking about? And that's the one, Vio Beauty, Vio Beauty. It's the TikTok one. V-I-E-B-A-U-T-I eyelash serum. Get it? 
because once again, once I put on this mascara, y'all will see. This is not even my favorite, this is like my backup mascara. Cause I don't think it really gives me the length that I want, but it is doing this job. I swear, buy it and use it like regularly. Honestly, try to use it twice a day. If not, cause it, obviously twice a day can get hard. I use mine once a day at least. And the, like, if I forget one day, I'll just do it like the next morning for sure or something, you know? Like I wonder how long my eyelashes can actually get. I'm definitely gonna buy another one before I move though because it is too good. Like what is going on? These kind of look fake. According to me, I think. <laughs> I still need a mirror for this. Like, why am I trying to do it in the screen? I literally cannot get over this. Like, what? Oh. Honestly, this whole, like, eyelash thing has taught me to always take before photos. Like, no matter if it's, like, with eyelashes, your body, whatever, your toes. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Because, like, if I had the before photos, you guys would see that, like... This works. This is magic in a tube. Magic. I really don't like how here in the corner it's just like all over the place. If you've watched these type of videos from me before, you know that I literally never do my eyebrows because I'm like, oh, they're microbladed and I just never get the brow gel or whiz that I use. But I got this, I would say a while ago. I never really use it. Rarely do I use it. I feel like trying it today. I feel like having a very dark, <laughs> whoa, I looked at myself, I look crazy. I feel like having a very dark and mysterious look today, you know, but it all, it just looks the same as usual. Maybe because it's very gloomy outside, I'm kind of like digging that. Also, don't have a spoolie, spoolie, that. <laughs> so we just do a little bit, just make it a little darker than it is, and I'm just gonna tap it through i also don't want it to be too blocky like yes we want to fade at the front i can't really tell but we're just gonna leave it at that that was definitely a lot instead of letting the setting spray dry i feel like it's always better to just pat it in no like that just makes sense does it say to air dry yeah it doesn't say, but it implies it. Well, well, well. Oh, well. <laughs> and now that we got that out of the way. Oh, I'll have a little here. Oh, I didn't even... Whatever, I'm wearing kind of a turtleneck, so you can't really see. I can literally always tell on my face when I gain a little bit of weight, because like, guys, I've been eating too good the past nine, 10 days. Like, too good. Too, too good. <laughs> So, um, that's why my jaw is a little bit gone. I'm gonna try to bring her back in a week. <laughs> Guys, I fucking love that. Okay, we're pretty much done. I just realized that in this video, I feel like I did more makeup than I did talking, but I kind of just like told you guys what's going on recently. I'm obviously gonna do another one of these maybe in a month before I leave, but I did make a very good um, uploading plan for the videos I wanna put out within the whole of January. So we're gonna see how that goes, but you guys should be seeing way more of me. Maybe, maybe my partner, I don't know yet. I have to make sure that it's the right thing to do. But yeah, besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, if you want a different look, just tell me. But if you're here for just like the na 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 na, tell me too. Because sometimes I feel bad, but I'm also like, do you guys even care, you know? Or maybe it's just me overthinking. Anyways, uh, don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I do feel like I've slowed down a little bit on TikTok, but that's why I'm about to film like 10 videos right now as my battery charges. And we're on the roll. We're, on, we're back on the roll. So yes, do that. Follow me on TikTok. Look out for the new videos. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. 1K by the end of the year. It's a reach, but it's not impossible. That's all I know. It's a reach, but not impossible. And yeah, we, we will see. We will definitely see. <laughs> Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, 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 really do appreciate each and every single one of you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy. I never really say that anymore. 
Honestly, the stay safe and stay healthy was kind of invented throughout COVID. And I just kept saying that and it was just part of my outro. And now sometimes I say, sometimes I don't. But just know that if I don't say stay safe and stay healthy, I always mean to say it. Okay? Okay. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>